Because so many people hear about walking into Spain, many migrants think that's all they're going to have to do. They have no idea that between northern Morocco and Europe is a body of water where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Mediterranean Sea. The water is rough. The winds can be ferocious. Few of them understand the logistics of getting from here to there until they arrive on the North African coast and sea. I have no work. Sometimes I do cleaning, but really, there is no work. I live in a room. There are three of us. All three of us try to work to pay for the room. I feel like I only have two people to trust in the whole world. It all makes me tired, so tired. Sometimes I cry. I didn't think it would take this long. I used to think maybe two years maximum. All of this is about people, other human beings, struggling to be their best selves and to do the right thing for their families. These migrants cannot go home, cannot be free. Maybe they never have been, especially if they were born female cannot go where they want in the world. Three of the women I met were girls when they set out. Now they are mothers of small children. Almost all of the migrants dropped out of school to get to this point and are undereducated. Many of them didn't even know there was water between here and there. All of the migrants I met have no money, no food, no jobs, and they're running out of hope. A steady reign of war, poverty, persecution, violence, natural disaster, and climate change Corrupt and tyrannical leaders, extremism and ignorance have created a mighty river of people on the move. Right now, there are more refugees and migrants around the world than ever before. And because migrants quite often move in waves with refugees, the general public often confuses the two. Openly telling her story could land her in jail or on a bus to the Sahara Desert in southern Morocco. And she'd already been that route with the boys. Then I gave birth in the forest to my first son, and when I saw my child, I said, I will not do this again. Migrants are people who are voluntarily on the move in search of a better life, which usually means work, maybe an education, or to reunite with family. I am the oldest, he said. I call them sometimes, but I tell them, no, do not come here. There is nothing for them here. The migration is so difficult. Already they have walked, taken trains, cars, buses to get here. Imagine. Women suffer a lot in travel, a lot of abuse. The road to get here is very difficult, but living here is almost worse because they are so close. When you are walking, you still have hope. All I think about is crossing that fence. The temporary becomes extended and extended. Days turn into weeks, turn into months, turn into years. I feel stuck in the ocean in between places. I will not stop until I am free.